Hi guys, Bucket List Guy here, and we've got 129 days to go until the Melbourne Ironman in three hours. Just finished a two hour ride, <coughs> uh, um, leaving from here, then went up to Q Boulevard in um, on the other side of the city, did a few laps, a couple of laps of Q Boulevard, had to be hills, and, um, and then came back, so it was a whole two hours. Um, it's interesting because now we're, we're my, my coach is getting me to take things a little bit more seriously and I, I must admit over the last um, week, week and a half, two weeks, I've been taking things a lot more seriously and um, this is this is not a game, this is, this is fair income stuff and if I'm going to make this, I've got to really stick to the to the training schedule and I can't muck around. I'm now... Now I've got the old heart rate monitor on here, so every every session I do involves a level of heart rate that I've got to go at, whether it be run, ride, or sometimes even swim. Um, what's been um, what's been really really interesting is the fact that I've got to get used to eating every sort of half an hour, um, or just eating constantly while I'm while I'm riding. Uh, not necessarily while I'm running, but especially while I'm riding, I was eating um, way too little, taking in way too uh, too little amounts of carbohydrates. I've had to increase the amount of carbohydrates that I take um, dramatically. On the weekend, I did a four-hour ride, which involved the Hanover ride, um, which was down from Ringwood down to Frankston and then back. And that's actually going to be the part of the course, the Ironman course. Beautiful ride. And, um, yeah, I went out with the aim of uh, consuming quite a bit of qu- quite a bit of carbohydrates, you know, in the form of bars, gels, um, Gatorade, and this sort of thing. Um, I've got to, because I weigh 80 kilograms, I've got to eat or consume one gram Per kilogram of body weight every hour, so that's 80, 80 grams per hour of carbohydrate. So I had to eat three hundred and twenty grams over the four hours that I rode on the weekend. I didn't get through half of that, and I felt like I was eating all the time. So this is going to be interesting, um, and that and that is basically what you've got to do. You've got to just constantly put in sugar and and keep yourself. Um, you know, keep yourself burning that sugar and don't let yourself run out of sugar, more importantly. Um, because I, I've hit the wall a couple of times and hitting the wall is no fun. And if you, if I, I look now back on earlier posts and especially that ride that I did with, with the boys up to uh, Mount Macedon um, where I came back and I was absolutely fucking defeated, I, that, I just did not eat um, near enough, you know, to even feed a quarter of that ride. So no wonder I was fucked. Anyway, lesson learnt, and now we're taking it seriously. We've got run club tomorrow morning with Peter Robertson. He's our our guest guest coach, and um, I'll do more more updates um, as we go along. So feeling good. Bye.